told you we gon' take you to the top. Can't believe that Mr. Wonder Boy to flop, ayy. Yeah, never move and shake you, but I pop, ayy. It's your boy, Underworld Crypto, aka Jay, here with another cryptocurrency video. Folks, it's not over. It's just getting started. We are early adopters of blockchain technology. And whether you are down or you are up, one thing your boy, Underworld Crypto, knows is we are just getting started. I got to get you back on track. And I'm going to do that by giving you this new video today to get you to a place that you need to go in your cryptocurrency journey. And before I get started, let me give you my disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. It's just for your educational purposes. But if you so educate yourself and blow up your bank account, you are welcome. And for those who don't know me, let me introduce myself and tell you a little bit about your boy and our crypto. You know your boy and our crypto is a certified digital currency investigator, a certified fraud examiner, Certified in over 10 board professional certifications in cyber investigations and forensics. A master's degree in digital forensics. I'm a digital forensic scientist, folks, currently pursuing my PhD in innovation and technology management with a specialization in information systems. And all that means is I take my time to investigate each and every project to provide you the best information possible to help you change your life. And I want to do that for you here today. Now, let me tell you about the project that you need to take out right now. You need to look at TE Food. Now, for those who are not familiar with that name, it is known also as Tone. Now, Tone is currently found on KuCoin and other exchanges. And let me tell you about this project so we can get into your cryptocurrency journey. Check this out, folks. At the time in which this video was recorded, this was trading on May 24th, 2021 at $0.05. Cents. That's a 40% gain in the last 24 hours. Now, what's important to know is on May 4th, before cryptocurrency went down in 2021, this hit a all-time high of $0.11, cents, going on $0.12. Cents. So right there, we have a 50% reduction in the value but that it surely shouldn't scare you. In fact, you should think about that. That's an opportunity for you to go from five cents to seeing 11 cents, that's 50% profits. But you need to know a little bit about this project. So let's talk about this project, folks. The number one end-to-end -end food traceability solution on blockchain, TE Foods, also known as Tone. Now, what is this particular technology? This is a supply chain technology. What it does is allow traceability from the, the farm, if you will, all the way to the table. Imagine, if you will, you had went to the grocery store and you pick up some food and you say to yourself, you know what, how long has this food been here? This is something we do every day. And we don't think about it. Well, TE Foods or Tone gives you the ability using blockchain technology to trace your food with your phone from the time that it was planted all the way until it gets to the grocery store. Now, this is an in-depth project, but I want you to know there's a lot of issues in this particular area and who is creating a solution for it? No other than TE Foods. Let me tell you why that's important. Check this out, folks. If you look at this TE Foods, TE Foods is an effortless entry level traceability solution for companies to start tracking their batches without months of preparation. It enables consumers to scan a QR codes on their products and see their history. And this is what they do. Now, if you look at what they're offering, TE Food makes traceability implementations simple, fast, and secure. Here's a diagram of what TE Foods does. They serialize the product. In this case, we're going to talk about food. It captures that information from the time the food is planted in a farm. And you can trace it from it's being shipping all the way to that grocery store. Now, once it's a store, you can share that information. Now, why is this important? 
You can digitize your products if you want to enable the consumers to scan their QR codes on the products to see a history and print that history. Now, again, this is important because there's a lot of fraud today in the food industry. But let's think a little bit deeper. Now, let me grab this real quick for you, folks. See, this is a simple organic item. And I got this from Trader Joe's. Now, you see it says organic on this particular food item. But how do you know it's organic? Well, here's another example. Here's some more food items. You got a serial number here. And how do you know that this food is organic? And how do you know when it's going to expire? Do you have to trust someone? Well, trust is a big issue in this area. Why trust someone when you have a company that can provide you a way to trace the food, to ensure that the things that you're buying, that is up to date, that it says what it says it's supposed to do, and also that it is what it's supposed to be. Now, let's go a little bit deeper into this project. You can tell a story about the food. You can look at the history of the information, the ingredients, nutrition facts, the uses instructions, the supplier introductions and certifications. Additionally, provide proof of your sustainability claims. Now, as a growing number of consumers prefer environmentally friendly brands, several companies started to make empty sustainability claims for PR reasons. This behavior is called greenwashing. End-to-end -end traceability enables brands to show that they really care about environment and also differentiate themselves by the way that they package their food and proves the sustainability actions. See, a lot of people use words such as organic and environmentally friendly just to get your money. But with T Foods, it provides a way using blockchain that you can't manipulate, that you can ensure that from point to point, it's going to be quality. Now, let me show you really quickly exactly how this is done with your food by you watching this video. Check this out right here. So that was a quick video to show you exactly how you can serialize and use the blockchain to trace your food. Now let's go a little bit deeper and see if there's other ways you can use this technology. Now you can use this. The food producers have a very limited overview of their consumers. This allows the people who create products and also foods to learn a little bit about the people, who they are, where they are, and exactly what you want from your products. Now, here's the problem that TE Foods or Tone resolves. It's always important to know what problems it can resolve. Can you trust the label? Or does it hide a food scam? How wine and food scam artists fool consumers and investors with phony labels and misleading information? A wine and food scam works by providing false or misleading information, usually on a label or product. Sometimes it's perfectly legal and preys on your lack of understanding about how the contents are made or described. Other times, scammers just make a false claim and a product is not what the label says it is. That is the problem resolved, folks. T Foods or Tone allows you to be able to look at the nutrition facts, everything about that product. Instead of someone just simply putting a label on there at the grocery store or at the manufacturer, if you understand about blockchain, 
it's encrypted. So if you have products that come from a farm and you can trace them from beginning to end, at no point can someone interfere with that product because it's in the blockchain. The labels, the scanning, all is going to be serialized. Now, you saw how that was done in the video I showed you, but let's go a little bit deeper about this problem it resolves and why you need to take a look at T Foods. Now, can you trust a label? Now, if you look at a wine or food scam, what happens? One of the lesser known tricks is widespread costs to both you, the consumer, and the investors. Now, a basic trick is to pass off a product as something it's not. That could be anything from a bogus bottle of rare vintage wine or a chemical label of cauliflower, whatever it could be. There is a big problem in this area. Now, more than half of Americans find food labels misleading or confusing, and sometimes for a good reason. Even when we carefully check labels for nutrition, fat, sugar, sodium, and other total calories, especially claims like organic and gluten-free, what we see may not always be what we get. Mislabeling, also misbranding, is all too common. At times, false labels are due to outright food fraud, such as nearly one-third of fish and mislabeled each year. According to research by nonprofit foundation Oceana, oftentimes this is an inexpensive way of people passing off this product that may be inferior, tricking consumers into spending far more money than what the actual value of that product is. In other cases, labels are due to manufacturer error, such as putting gluten-free claims on product containing barley. And finally, labels can sometimes be outright confusing since the way the FDA defines a serving size or a sugar may not be the way we intuitively understand it. So if you look deeper into that, Here's an article on, by Huffman Post, Food Fraud is Real, Detect Mislabeled Foods. Now, I'm going to go through this really quickly because this is not the only thing this particular technology is used for, but I want you to see the main purpose. And this is the number one leading area. And I love cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies that are the only one. Just like Telcoin was the only one in that space. Bab was the only one in that particular space. And now T Foods was one of the only ones in that space. Now we think of things like VeChain, which is also a supply chain uh, cryptocurrency that helps you with that tracking of an item of value. The T Foods is the first and only one in the space of food. That's important. But is there something more we can get out of this cryptocurrency? Which is why your boy on crypto wants you to check this out. Check this out, folks. Organic food scams. Some top names in groceries, retail businesses, such as these are seen here, can oftentimes have misleading information saying it's organic. Now, there's often confusion about what qualifies as organic. What, here in the U.S., Department of Agriculture says organic food is produced by farmers who emphasize the use of renewable resources and the conservation of soil and water to enhance environmental quality for future generations. Organic meat, poultry, eggs, and dairy products came from animals that are given no antibiotics or growth hormones. Organic food is produced without using most conventional pesticides, fertilizers, and made with synthetic ingredients or sewage sludge, bioengineering, or ionizing radiation. Before a product can be labeled organic, a government-approved certifier inspects the farm where the food is grown to make sure the farmer is following all the rules necessary to meet the USDA organic standards. Companies that handle or process organic food before it goes to local supermarkets or restaurants must be certified too. So you see here that the, there's a problem even in the terminology of organic. We are paying more money, but I'm thinking of this macro level. Let's talk about the micro level. There is a such thing as grocery stores. A lot of people don't realize that in the grocery stores, there's different levels of grocery stores. You might have your high level grocery stores and when things get close to expiration date, they ship it over to another community and that particular community will buy those groceries a little bit less and the food could be expired. This is a big problem. People around the world are receiving 
inferior goods and they don't even know it. So this is a problem that's costing consumers and investors millions, but there's also a health issue associated with it. And T Foods is ripe to help with this problem. Now, we're going to go a little bit deeper. Something more about T Foods that you need to find out that separates it from every other cryptocurrency. And I want you to check this out. TE Foods and GE Aviation Collaboration. That's right, folks. What separates T Foods from all the other cryptocurrencies is this collaboration. What in the world is this? Your boy in our crypto? Let me tell you exactly what's going on. How did we go from the farm to me showing you a picture of a plane and T Foods? Let me tell you exactly what happened. You see, T Food and GE Aviation have this collaboration. Reported on May 26, 2020, G Aviation's digital group and T Food partner to improve the efficiency of aviation industry supply chains with blockchain. What exactly happened? This is what happened. T Food, a world class food technology company, and G Aviation Group on Forge 50 blockchain companies are taking the idea of collaboration to the next level by partnering across industries to create world-class blockchain solutions. The goal of this partnership is to create a product that brings best blockchain technology practices to the aviation industry. TFU provides all components for blockchain-based end-to-end supply chain traceability implementations. It gained extensive implementation experience by serving over 6,000 food companies including leading brands such as uh, Migros, Venomilk, Grain Corp, Lot, Mart, etc. Team Food Solution is based on two pillars, transparency, monitor supplier compliance, and traceability, end-to-end -end supply chain traceability. G Aviation's digital group understands how blockchain technology can improve the way companies collaborate in asset lifecycle management, cash reconciliation, and asset transfer management. So what is this? So let me remind you about a few things that's happened over the couple of years. There's been a lot of airplane crashes. You probably remember some of the major ones. And GE, unfortunately, has been involved in some of these because of the type of airplanes and the motors. Now, what is wrong with some of these airplanes and some of the parts in these airplanes? Well, just like all things mechanical, they wear down and break. But imagine being able to trace every screw, every bolt, every major component placed inside of an airplane. Imagine being able to trace them so that when there's time to expire to replace them, you would have the means to do so. Well, before this, it would just be a write it down and a few years later, someone audit it and hopefully you can replace it. Or if you're from the military like me, you wait till you see oil or something leak or it crashes, and that's when we replace things. Well, the thing about T Foods or Tone, they have a solution to trace something from the farm all the way to the grocery store. So if you think about innovation, wouldn't it make sense to put that technology on parts so that you could trace parts that could actually save human lives, that could put us in a position as consumers who ride on these planes to ensure our safety. Well, that is what T-Foods is doing. And no one else is doing that but T-Foods. So this collaboration is something that has already have happened in 2020. And I want you to think about it. If you was worried about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency going away, then you're short-sighted in what is really happening. What is happening are innovation is technology such as this. Solving a problem is not something that is going to be a quick turnaround. It's you getting in at the early stages. It's like someone going up to Apple in the 90s and buying Apple stock. Now, if you could go back in time, would you buy Apple stock for a hundred bucks? I'm sure you would. You'll be a multimillionaire. So keeping that in mind, we are at the early stages and planes were crashing a long time before cryptocurrency was here. But now there's a solution for people to look at parts, to trace those parts 
to have transparency and it was made possible through blockchain technology. Now, let me read a little bit about this for those who are interested in this information. Commercial airplanes spend over 20 billion on unplanned maintenance. According to Frost and Sullivan report in 2019, the lack of actionable data on unplanned maintenance uh, inventory management and aircraft lease transfer makes these processes inefficient and expensive. There are a lot of similarities between food trace at a grocery store and trace at an airplane manufacturer with all the suppliers each uses. T Food is enabling food manufacturers and retail chains to optimize their supply chain processes as well as to monitor and enforce suppliers to comply with the food safety and sustainability requirements. T Food blockchain based digital signature function, product recall processes, transparency and traceability processes are adapted to fulfill the requirement of managing unplanned maintenance and asset transfer in non-food industries. The two companies decide to join forces to adapt tea food solution to non-food industries. Folks, this is at the end of this road. Now, what did you learn that your boy Undog Crypto show you? Well, let me tell you what you learned. If you are a V-chain holder, if you saw VET, if you saw the supply chain functionality of VeChain, how it went from less than 100%, and before this large Bitcoin crash, it went all the way up to 26 cents. If you understand how important supply chain is in the function of the macro, the big picture, then TE Foods or Tone is the project that you need to check out. If you missed VeChain, and it's at 26 cents. You may want to jump on a coin that's worth five cents at the time in which this video is recorded that went to 11 cents, double the price just a few weeks ago on May 4th of 2021. You may consider that at any time, if it returns back to the price in which it fell from 11 cents, you'll make double your money. Now, I can't tell you what to do, folks. I'm not a financial advisor. All I can say is your boy under our crypto has been watching TE Foods and Hell TE Foods since it was 100%. It's at 5 cents now. It fell from 11 cents. I don't have to be a rocket science to put two and two together. Eventually, it will go back up. What goes up must come down and what goes down can come back up. And if it goes back up to 11 cents, then that's 50% of profit. Will that happen in a year or two years? I don't know, but I know this much. You want to get in a project before it's 26 cents. You want to get in a project that's in the food business, and you want to get in a project that's in the airline business. Two major businesses, a corporation such as GE Electric, if you're not jumping on tea foods, I don't know what's going to excite you. Well, until next time, that's your boy under our crypto. I'm going to give you some information about how to contact me on both Twitter, Telegram, and also uh, directly so you can be a part of the underdog crypto community. And while I do that, I'm going to have my boy Indigo Saint take us out. As you listen to this artist, you can check out how to get in contact with your boy. Thank you very much, and I will see you soon with another cryptocurrency video. to the top, can't believe they missed the one, the boy to flop, ayy, yeah, never movie shaky, but I pop, ayy, yeah, X's on my line, wanna chop, ayy, yeah, I 